to predict an eclipse of the Sun, one can advance the Tellurian ahead of the main clock in the demonstration mode. For an eclipse to occur, two conditions are required. Firstly, one of the Moon's orbit nodes, um, shown by this little black pointer, must be inside the eclipse season window. Secondly, the Moon pointer must be on the eclipse dial. That is the point when the Moon is in a direct line between the Sun and the Earth. So what we'll do is we'll rotate the Tellurian until the pointer on the Moon is approaching the eclipse window and then the node pointer is almost off the dial pointing at 60 odd degrees. We then go to the ecliptic latitude ring and at 60 degrees is where the eclipse will occur. We then rotate the earth latitude ring and transfer directly onto the earth latitude ring at about 40 degrees rotate the latitude ring to point towards the Sun and then we know that at that point the eclipse is going to start it then as we then proceed during the eclipse you'll see the eclipse passes over North America and into the Pacific at this point where the moon's pointer is leaving the eclipse ring is when the eclipse is complete and the point is of course at 40 degrees in the Pacific Ocean. The local time and the date of course can be read off the international time dial and the date of the calendar on the main clock.